Hey there, this is Rod, welcome back. Um, this video is for all you peace dollar collectors or people who are new to the coin industry and you're trying to get a feel for what the grading standards are when you send coins out, uh, and you send them off to get graded and you wanna know what's the difference between a 61, a 62, a 63, or a 64 coin. Is there really that much difference? And if so, um, what are the price differences between the levels of the coins? And that's gonna be a contingent upon you know, what the price of silver is and the mintage is and the timing of when you look for these coins. But uh, the main thing I wanna show in this video is all for the newbies out there, the new in the coin collecting grading. I want you to see uh, what the grade differences is, or if there is a difference between three grading companies, Annex, PCGS, and uh, what was the other one I'm looking for? NGC. Whew, my mind's going on that one. So I have the 1923 Peace Dollars graded by three different coin grading companies, and I want you to see the difference between the grades, or if there is a difference, and see which one you like best, and. Give me an idea in the comments on what coin do you think looks better uh, to get an idea. And it also will help you know um, the difference between the numbers of 61, 62, and 63 on the Sheldon scale. Uh, the perfect coin, of course, is being 70, and so we don't have any of them here. But I do want you to see what we have in store for you today. So let me turn this camera around so you can see what the 1923 Peace Dollar looks like between the three different coin grading companies and so you can see the grades between them and then determine which one you think is best in this video so let's get started here we have this top row we have the 1923 peace dollar graded in ms61 ms62 and ms63 I'll do a closer look. Now, the Annex one is the only one we have in 61. We don't have a 61 for the other coin grading companies, but I just want you to see what a 61 looks like. It may not be the best lighting here for this video, but that's a pretty nice shape coin there for a 61. Um, turn it over. You can see the coin. This is a 61. Like I said, the other two coin grading companies does not have a 61 in this video, but we did have one for Annex, so I just wanted you to see the difference. So in relation to a 62, what you think. Here is a 62 Annex. You notice it has that cartwheel luster right there. This is Philadelphia Mint. MS-62, flip it over. Like I said, pretty nice coin for a grade 62. It's always good to get mint state quality in your coins. I learned from a coin dealer a long time ago, always buy the best coin that you can afford because you buy an ugly coin today, 30 years from now, it's still gonna be ugly. So you wanna get a pretty coin today, so you have a pretty coin for the future when it's time to sell. And eye appeal is, carries a lot of weight when you're selling coins. So these are nice coins right here. And here is an MS-63, and this is the last entry of the Annex. This is the MS-63, of course. This is the highest grade we have an Annex on the 23 piece dollar. And you can determine whether or not, how much better is this than a 61 and a 62 that I have just shown you? So, trying to let you see the beauty of this coin. Got some window light coming in, so we do have some reflection here. So here you have, like I said, the 61, the 62, and the 63 from the Annex grading. As we drop to the lower level here, or the middle row, we have a 1923 MS-62 from NGC, MS-63, and an MS-64. Here is the 62 NGC. The 
Here you go. There is a, you can see some ticks on the neck and some gouges on the neck right there, which would prevent it from getting a higher grade. On these peace dollars, um, the, the areas that really uh, can downgrade a coin is the, the face, the cheekbone, and the neck. Those are your prime areas. Uh, and uh, the hairlines, um, those are the central point of this coin. And they can really hurt your grade from going up. This is a 62. Very nice back as well. You can see a lot of detail in the wings of the eagle. Nice back. Now in reference, let's go back to the 62 of the Annex. I just showed you the NGC 62. This is the Annex again, 62. And if we want to, we can put them side by side. Here goes the Annex 62. And here goes the NGC 62 right here. This is the NGC MS 62. You can see the gouge in the neck, some specks in the neck. And then we come over here to the Annex 62. MS-62, MS-62. We have them priced at the same amount, as you can see. And I have to give the vote for the Annex variety myself, but tell me what you think in the comments. There goes a 62 uh, NGC 1923 piece dollar. And then here goes the Annex 62. Same year. There goes the back of that. You see how clean the back is on the annex. Here goes the NGC. Now, now we're going to go to, here is a MS-63 of the 23 piece dollar. This is the NGC variety. You can see how pretty that is. And we'll flip that around. Nice clean back. So this is one step up from the 62 that you saw. Now let's look at the MS-63 from Annex. Here goes the Annex MX. It's the MS-63 from Annex, 1923-piece dollar. There goes the back. Now let's compare them side by side. You got the 1923 MS-63 for Annex and the 1923 MS-63 from NGC. Here's the Annex, and here's the NGC. We have them both priced the same at the time. That's the Annex, and that's the NGC. Very interesting here. <clears throat> Now, we're going to complicate this even more. We'll get to the 64 in just a second. Now it gets a little bit muddier, the waters, because now we're going to PCGS. And here, in the PCGS, we have an MS-62 piece dollar. Here's an MS-62 PCGS. And we'll go over these again at the end. I just want to go through this rather quickly. Got some toning on the back of this one. None of these coins have been cleaned. 
So here goes a MS-62 by PCGS. Here's a MS-62 by NGC. And here goes a MS-62 by Annex. I really like this Annex coin. Um, so we have the Annex variety. We have the NGC variety, MS-62. And we have the PCGS MS-62. Once again, we're gonna go one step over to the MS-63. There goes the MS-63 Annex. The MS-63 NGC. And the MS-63 and PCGS. So we have three different major coin grading companies. And which one do you think is the best? Here goes the PCGS MS-63, 1923 piece dollar. Here goes the NGC variety. And here goes the Annex variety. And I will say the Annex is holding its own and uh, in spite of what you know we're told by people don't get annex that's not the major coin grading company even though they were the first uh, but uh, the results are very similar and if in some case maybe even a little bit better ms20 like i said uh, ms63 here so just wanted you to see the three varieties here Now, when it comes to MS-64, we only have two that are available from PCGS and NGC. Here goes a 1923 MS-64 by NGC. Hope you're getting this well here. Hope it's picking up well on the video. There's a lot of coins I'm showing you back and forth and it's easy to get confused, but we'll go over it real quickly at the end. So that is a 64, 1923 by NGC. Here goes a 64 from PCGS. Got a spot up there on I and Liberty to the right of I on Liberty. A little bit of chatter in the fields and on the cheek and neck, but not bad at all. Very nice looking coin. We'll put them side by side. This gives you an idea what grading companies are looking for and um, what how the coin must look or approximately look like this in order to get that MS-64 grade. And MS-64, these are nice grades, right? These are all mint state. You see the MS-64, MS stands for mint state for all you newbies out there. But here we have a PCGS and an NGC side by side, the 1923 piece dollar. These are 90% silver and they consist of 0.77% silver, which is about three quarters of an ounce in each of these coins. That's approximate. But once again, it goes to 64 of the PCGS and the 64 of the NGC. Now, last but not least, we do have one MS-65. No other, we don't have one from Annex or NGC of 65, but we do want you to let you see that the MS-65, and now when it hits MS-65, a lot of times they'll call these gem grades. Gem grades are considered from MS-65 through 70. So when they say, I have a gem piece dollar in your mind. You should be thinking uh, it should be about an MS-65 grade. They call them gems when they hit, once they hit the 65 grade. But you can see that is real nice. You can see how clean the cheeks are, the faces, uh, the neck. The fields aren't bad. This is the MS-65 by PCGS. And as we flip it over, you can see how nice... And for you newbies out there, this is why some coins are higher 
amount of money or cost more in higher grades because you're paying for quality, you're paying for eye appeal, you're also paying for the coins or for the limited uh, amount in this grade because uh, it's eye appeal, it's condition. In real estate, it's location, location, location determines the value of a property a lot of time, but in coins, it's eye appeal, it's condition. Uh, and of course, mintage and there's other factors involved, but it's condition, condition, condition. And so we want to see, this is what an MS65 coin looks like. So what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> I'm going to go through these coins since I'm at the bottom row. Here goes an MS62. Here goes an MS63. Here is an MS64 and an MS65, all graded by PCGS. As we go to the middle row to NGC, here's an MS62, MS63, and an MS64. Notice you don't see as many tick marks on that 64 when you get to those higher grades. And if you can afford the higher grade, get the higher grade. You won't be sorry. And actually any mint state grade almost. As we go to Annex, here goes MS61, <clears throat> MS62, and an MS63 by Annex. <clears throat> Another way I can show you here goes the MS62 from Annex, MS62 from NGC, and MS62 from PCGS. Here goes the MS63 from Annex, MS63 from NGC, and MS63 from PCGS. And some of you may be watching. Uh, I see differences, but not a whole lot. But <clears throat> at least you're getting an idea what these coins look like in various grades. Here goes an MS64 and an MS64 by PCGS. And the loan MS65. So if you're interested in any of these coins or other coins in our shop, you can contact Bobby at this number and get information from her. It doesn't cost anything to get information. We thank you all for tuning in. Um, hope this coin was beneficial for all you newbies out there. And so you can see the various grades between the three different uh, coin grading companies. We love you. Please comment, give us a thumbs up. It's so easy to just hit the thumbs up, but it really helps the algorithms with YouTube and get this information uh, out to other viewers who are seeing coins for the first time and for this video. So. We do really appreciate you tuning in today and watching this video and keep on collecting, like I said, and uh, we really thank you all for tuning in. Thumbs up, like, share. It means so much to us and we appreciate everything that you do for us by ordering through us, by commenting, by giving us thumbs up, and that's what makes us keep coming back and bringing more videos. Thank you very much and may God bless.